So we've got a 2008 Saab 93 here with the engine management light on. Uh, just going to go through and see what codes we got. So uh, using the Think Car tool. There we go. So we've got one for Glow Plug. They already know, the customer already knows about. Uh, but the other one here, we've got EGR now. So just going to step through some diagnosis process and show you what I find and how I find it. So luckily this EGR valve was really easy to remove. So literally just remove the bolts and already you can see I've had a little scratch around in there that's already so clogged up. And it doesn't even look like it's sitting correctly. So what we're going to do is go to actuation tests. And there we go, we've got EGI actuator. So I'll bring the scanner to over here. Okay, ignition's on. Right, so it's at nil at the moment, so let's increase it. So I'm increasing it. There we go, I've already 200 on that valley there. No movement at all. So you can see by actually manually increasing it, that should be moving. And if I decrease it, We should also be moving back. So we know nothing's working there, but we need to see what's going on up to there. So what I'm gonna use is the Kurian N2. It's a Bluetooth multimeter that connects to iPad, Android, any other tablets, or even your phone. So I've got it hooked up on there, and straight away, it's only, this is only a two-wire connector EGR valve. So we've got in there, battery voltage was good. So let's go to the other wire. So on the other wire now, so like the actuator wire, so we can see the values at uh, zero again. So watch when I increase the value, let's see what happens. Right, so increasing, increasing. There we go, you can see the voltage changing each time. So let's go, let's go. So. Me working that is going to increase the position of the EGR valve if that EGR valve was working correctly. So now I can work out all the wiring. Is it all okay? Right, so 100% sure the EGR valve at the fault. So just to prove it, got the new one just plugged in. Just plugged in there. And if you can see it. Going to increase the value and let's see what happens to the actual valve itself. So I'm increasing it. See, that's moving. And then decrease, it's moving back. So I think we can. There we go. So the problem with this one is just completely choked up. So there we go. No guessing here, 100% proven diagnosis and then confidence when you fit the new part.